As we gather now on this fourth Sunday of Advent, so close to the great moment in which we celebrate the incarnation of our God in Jesus Christ, uh, we remember something very important about God, that uh, whenever God says to us, I want you to be a part of my plan, I, I invite you into this, uh, into this great work of mine, uh, two things are gonna be the truth. One is that he is going to do this to, to, for, for uh, glorification, for his glorification and for our glorification. And two, he will always find a way to assure us that he is with us in this message. And uh, in today's gospel, uh, we hear that message that from Mary, uh, from the angel, that her kinswoman, Elizabeth, uh, in her old age had um, become pregnant and was about to give birth to John and John the Baptist. And so today we read that great, uh, that this wonderful piece of scripture. What it reminds me of all the different times in our lives when our, maybe our parents have promised us something or our brothers and sisters have told us about this magnificent thing they experienced or a friend has told us, and then they invite us to come and see for ourselves. And so much like that experience, we, and we go and recognize it. oh my gosh, what the Lord said or what my brother and sister said or what my mother and father said is true. And here's the evidence of it. And so the same thing with Mary and Elizabeth, that for Mary, what God had said to her, that you would be the bearer of my son, Jesus. And here's the sign that I give to you that I am speaking the truth. Here it is, it's true. And that's the wonderful thing about God as we, again, as we come to celebrate uh, this Christmas event, that God speaks the truth. And the truth is that he loves us. The truth is that he wants to be with us. The truth is that he is present to us all the time in his son Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit. It's our task to be like Mary, to be a disciple who's uh, trusting and faithful and who goes out to the world, in this case, her, her kinswoman, and sees that uh, God's presence is uh, not only uh, in her, but also God's presence has uh, come to Elizabeth. So this day we might ask ourselves uh, to ask God to show us that A, he is present to us, and that B, to give us a confirming sign uh, to, to ask him to help us to see how present he is in our lives. And as we conclude our Advent season, I hope that uh, all of you enter into the next season, the Christmas season, with great love, with great joy, with knowledge that God has loved us and that people have shown us that, uh, sh God has shown us that love through the people in our lives. Merry Christmas, everybody.